As coolant ages from prolonged use, the inhibitors of the coolant drop out of the solution and form a gel-like substance. This substance, commonly called green goo, can plug radiators, heater cores, and other system components. If the cooling system becomes oversaturated with SCA additives, the recommended corrective action is to drain and flush the system with an approved coolant system cleaner, then refill the system with the proper mixture of antifreeze, water, and SCAs. If problems in the cooling system persist, a close examination of the coolant filter may offer some diagnostic clues. A plugged filter can indicate a number of problems, including the presence of oil in the cooling system, excessive SCAs, dirty water, or the presence of stop leak products. A rusty filter can indicate a low level of SCAs and can plug the filter. A rusty, leaking filter indicates a complete lack of corrosion protection in the system, a sure sign of severe problems. Taking care of your cooling system before problems develop is the key to keeping your heavy-duty diesel engine running smoothly. Regular maintenance of the cooling system includes checking the coolant level, testing the coolant fluid, changing the coolant filter, and draining and flushing the cooling system. Properly maintaining a cooling system involves checking the coolant level. If the coolant level is low, additional coolant will need to be added to the cooling system to replace losses due to small leaks, evaporation, or engine maintenance. Identifying the type of antifreeze currently being used in the cooling system can be a problem. You cannot determine what type of antifreeze is being used by the color alone. Conventional ethylene and propylene glycol antifreeze has been manufactured in a variety of colors. When organic acid antifreeze was first introduced, oat type antifreeze was typically orange in color. Nitrited oat type antifreeze was typically red in color. And hybrid oat type antifreeze was typically either yellow or red in color. The TMC, Technology and Maintenance Council is making strides to standardize the colors of antifreeze to easily identify which type of antifreeze is being used. Although most antifreeze is compatible, if conventional antifreeze is added to any organic acid type antifreeze, it can dilute the original coolant's chemistry. If the coolant gets diluted, it causes a shift in the coolant's chemistry and may leave the cooling system unprotected. Check with the original equipment manufacturer for coolant mixture recommendations. When adding or changing coolant, if you are unsure of the type of antifreeze currently being used and have no way of identifying it through past maintenance records, identification tags, or driver's knowledge, drain and flush the system and add new coolant. Properly maintaining a cooling system also involves testing the coolant fluid to ensure the system stays balanced. Hastings recommends testing the coolant for proper SCA levels at least twice a year and at every service interval. Hastings offers the CT-101 Fleet Strip Test Kit for testing conventional antifreeze with SCAs. This universal test kit is simple to use because there is no measuring or mixing of coolant. The test kit utilizes litmus strips that measure freeze point, nitrite, and molybdate levels, all on a single strip. The CT-101 test kit can also be used to test the freeze point only in oat and nitrited oat antifreeze. A color-coded chart indicates the condition of your SCA and the proper action, if any, that needs to be taken. Test strips are available in the marketplace to test nitrite levels and organic acid coolants. There are also test strips available to test for sulfate, chloride, and pH. In addition to the fleet strip test kit, a refractometer is an excellent method to determine the freeze point of the coolant mixture. It also is helpful in determining if straight antifreeze or plain water is being added to a leaking system. Conventional coolant filters should be replaced at every normal service interval. If testing indicates that additional SCAs are needed, those SCAs can be added in the following ways. Install a new coolant filter with the correct amount of chemicals already in the filter. Install a new coolant filter with chemicals and add liquid SCAs to bring the system up to the correct level of protection. Install a new coolant filter without chemicals and add liquid SCAs as required. If no additional SCAs are needed, a new coolant filter without chemicals should be installed. 
See installation instructions for determining proper SCA levels. When using oat or nitrided oat antifreeze, Hastings recommends using an extended life coolant filter without chemicals designed to be serviced after one year, 150,000 miles, or 4,000 hours of service. The cooling system, using conventional antifreeze, should be drained and flushed every 200,000 to 250,000 miles. To flush the cooling system, Hastings recommends using a cooling system cleaner, or CSC. A CSC helps remove scale, rust, and combustion byproducts through a chelating process that surrounds the corrosion particles and then moves them through the system. Once the system has been flushed, and if conventional coolant has been added, it's time to pre-charge the cooling system with SCAs. If using BTE, Hastings recommends a pre-charge ratio of one unit of BTE for each gallon of coolant, and a maintenance dose of one unit of BTE for every four gallons of coolant. For BTA+, the recommended pre-charge ratio is 1.25 units of BTA plus for each gallon of coolant and a maintenance dose of 1.25 units of BTA plus for every four gallons of coolant. Keeping your cooling system working properly takes an aggressive, ongoing maintenance program. It is a process, however, that will help keep your heavy-duty diesel running at peak performance for many years of service.